But it is a kind of a nature documentary you're about to narrate because uh, Charles and Camilla are going to do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. I can't believe, just to be clear, somebody, I don't want to like shame people, I suppose, but like some creative energy was put to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, I want to people say, say that, that about this show all the time, so okay. I really can't like you know, glass houses here. <laughs> let me try. Let me try for a British accent. Okay. Camilla couldn't help it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna. I, the only one I can do is like the creepy Christopher Hitchens. No, the one you were doing was good. I think that accent okay. you just tried to do is what uh, is what. Oh, Nicole Jiminy Christmas, Camilla, yeah. uh, Camilla could. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Oh, um, good lord. No. Camilla couldn't help it. She moaned and inhaled sharply. Charles knew exactly where and how to touch her. Ugh. All right, all right. She breathed, but Charles did not allow her to calm down. His fingertips slipped under the thin satin of a vin Venus, Venus? Nighty. Charles could see her nipples began to show more and more. With ease, he traced the small circles along the inner sides of her thighs and pushed the hemline up. Charles knew she <laughs> not knickers beneath the nighty, the sight of her exposed <laughs> Just take a little run of that sentence, it's fine. Framed by the Okay, I don't even know where okay. However, Camille tried to stay strong. Don't you want breakfast? she asked. You'll be hungry during your, your engagements, otherwise. It really sounds like she's trying to, like, not sleep with him right now. Don't you want breakfast? I, I, I've noticed you used that pause to kind of skip over the phrase, the brown curls down there, but that's oh, fair. Oh, did it's I miss that? Over. Did I miss <laughs> I don't know. Let's, we got we to gotta play our game here, so let's just try to get through this. Oh, I am very hungry. Charles chuckled and bent down to Camilla's woman, who had placed a kiss right in the middle of it. Camilla winced in pleasure. With her hands, she pushed Charles away, or tried it, after all. Ve vehemently, Charles placed another kiss on exactly the same spot. I don't she think this another... person knows what wincing is. I, I love to be kissed vehemently. Famously, uh, uh, an emotion associated with, or a, a verb associated with pleasure is wincing. Mm -hmm. Grimacing. You know. uh, she took another attempt to push her husband away, but obviously... She had to speak to make it clear, which wasn't all that easy with Charles caressing her there. That was... what? Okay. Stop, please. She begged Good Lord, and pushed hey. away. But I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, you can do this. We're, we're like halfway done. Charles, Charles looked at it with the bright blue poppy eyes and you... And you said you had made breakfast for me. He paused. And that is certainly the most delicious thing in the world. Camilla's lips formed a small smile, but she moved away from him anyway. I thought it was your birthday, not mine. And despite, that won't sate you. She kissed him on the lips. First comes work, then pleasure. She laughed <laughs> cheekily. I have always preferred pleasure over work, and even more so on my birthday. Charles objected and kissed her back, his hands on her shoulders, pushing aside the thin straps of her nighty, and gliding his fingers along the outlines of her collar. Well, that's new to me. <laughs> she retorted, but knew she probably wouldn't be able to refuse, given that some, I accidentally slipped into, like, pirate. <laughs> Tell him what he wanted, especially on his birthday, and even more, it was something she enjoyed a lot, too. Almost shy, her hands wandered down to Charles Small of the back and pushed up the blue cotton shirt to his shoulders and pulled it over his head. As usual, her fingers <laughs> burnt like fire on Charles' skin. His soft kisses on his neck made it impossible to catch even a single clear thought. And her kisses on his chest and his stomach made him forget <laughs> everything around. With a wink of an eye, Charles had forgotten what he'd been hungry for. Having his eyes closed, he tussled through Camilla's hair. Always amazed by the softness. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> kiss after kiss landed on Charles abroad. <laughs> Sorry, we just, I, people hadn't had a chance to picture oh, Charles no. yet. So picture Charles like this as you're imagining kiss under kiss landing, as, kiss <sighs> after kiss landing on his upper body. Oh, this, no. This is doing something for someone, which I respect, but yeah. it is so alien mm -hmm. to me. 
what is it profoundly sorry uh, we're, we're close to the best part let's just push through it okay uh kiss after kiss landed on charles of uh from his cheeks she kissed her way to ear to ear and kissed him on his left ear lobe I love you, my darling, she purred, and Charles opened his eyes again to look at her. Her gaze <laughs> shivered through his body. Okay. She found him beautiful and attractive. The 66 hadn't changed anything. Years. Charles had known it, of course, but he was a fan of reassurance, always had been. My precious. Charles whispered and scratched the back of her head, beaming with bliss. <laughs> I do love you so. Carefully he pushed her down for him to kiss deeper and more passionate than before. He sucked on her lower lips in permissive tongue entrance. Oh, <laughs> she Sorry, her lower lips? Invited Charles' tongue for romantic tango. And now Charles' hands began to roam over Camilla's back down to her bottom, began to knead her butt cheeks before he pushed her knife. <laughs> <laughs> slipping into the around <laughs> him still forever he loved every inch every gram every scar every liver spot and every wrinkle carefully but with greed he turned on her back and resist couldn't resist grabbing her boobs you can't say boobs in <laughs> right it's such this. a tonal shift it That's, just completely you cannot put there. boobs there this i feel like the quality of the actual writing really decreases as it gets more like salacious that's usually true um, yeah Heavily began to massage them first softly, then with more pressure nearer the area he came to the areola. With caution, he rubbed her sensitive nipples between his I can't say ni nipples. Between nipples. his thumb and index finger, pulling them gently. As you he do. Parted her legs mm -hmm. between them to suck on her nipples. Every moment was a present to Charles, no matter what present she'd give him. A love, nearness, a perfect body where everything Charles wished for. Now I sound like a British baking lady. <laughs> no, that was good. You were getting into John Lennon there. He said, hey, hey, man, you could spend ages nibbling at her nipples. But <laughs> <laughs> and parts of her body you wanted to taste. So he further down to her stomach, then to her legs and feet, finally found the place where his mana came from greedy he nudged her nevers but <laughs> popped at them with his tongue eager to get everything from the sweet juice she offered that was horrible thank you <laughs> don't say wow. thank you you don't have to do that wow just know that the next two paragraphs just are so much worse 